1033 at the wheels. I think it's about 730 horsepower. <laughs> Welcome back to This Versus That. Today we have a very special matchup. Exotic versus exotic sounding. Really expensive versus not as expensive, but still expensive. Will not break, might break. If it doesn't break, will smoke. Wow, that was an intro. We got yeah, that was it. <laughs> I have no idea what it could possibly be. <laughs> You know, we got a returning guest here, Mr. Rob Dom. And he did a hood delete mod this time. If you guys remember Rob's last time here, had a little bit of a, a hood issue. <laughs> Same Rob dude, <laughs> slightly uh, different FD this time around. Uh, actual FD this actual time around. FD. This is the infamous three rotor from the channel. I've had this on my YouTube channel for ever. This is like your baby. This, this is, is what people know you for initially, yeah. was this car. <laughs> For those who don't know, we got a three rotor in an FDRX7. What all do you have done to this thing? This is kind of like the dream, I think, stock body FD setup is that you have a three rotor, which was a, a production engine over in Japan, not in the States. What did it come in? It came in a Unos Cosmo. Yeah. yeah. So the Cosmo, it looks like this gangster sick. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's the like one with the back seat looks like a Bayliner yeah. boat. And the yeah. whole interior looks like a concept car, yeah. but yeah. like actual. It's really. like if Mazda made a Soar. In my mind, it was meant to be in an FD, and an FD was meant to have a three rotor. It looks like it fits really well in here. It really does. I, I actually, since Hertz last seen it, I have power steering. So I'm, I'm really proud of myself. I'm, I'm, I'm going through the 12 the big steps. Boy mods. This thing um, has been my test bed for testing everything that you saw when I raced Ken in the four rotor. All of my tuning testing, I do it on this one. What you're saying is this is your shit car. Yes, yes it is, but it, mostly because I built it. <laughs> <laughs> the engine is actually the first engine. It's a prototype engine for me, built in-house. So I, I, not only did I assemble it, but I also machined it. So everything, you know, my CNC machine, like I'm trying wow. these things to, to really just like vice grip this whole thing all together and hold it. What power are we making with this thing? So I was not lying. Last week when I told you guys it was at 850, uh, I put a new G42 1450 on there. Spoolie boy. <laughs> you can't uh, not. It works. Beautiful. It works. Beautiful. Good check. We're at 1033 at the wheels, uh, 800 foot pounds of torque, which is truly unheard Wait, of. these little things make 800 yeah. foot pounds yeah. of torque? That's Whose idea was this? <laughs> <laughs> what, what RPM does it make 800 foot pounds of torque? In? That's that's what I'm trying to, trying to prove is that rotaries can make torque. And that's at 6,6300 RPM. And what does it rev to? It revs to 9,000 right now. So that's a meaty power band. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's pretty yeah, it carry, wild. It carries, yeah, seven, really it carries 700 RPM, uh, 700 torque from, I think it's like 5,200. Wow. One thing that makes this race very interesting is that my manifold was designed for a much smaller, less efficient turbo. Uh. So I have boost creep. So I, I can't control how much power I'm putting down. So if you guys say, hey, why don't we tone it down? I can't. So, Just all right foot. So the problem is, I'm not, I'm gonna have a hard time hooking up. Okay. So what cool. trans do you have that's taken all this power and lets you do all that? Until I hit 700 horsepower, I was using the stock trans. Okay. And I started separating them in half. Like they, they split apart. Now I've got a T56 Magnum, so it's a TR6060 uh, with a Ford 8.8 .8 independent rear end. Nice. So well, it's a Ford uh, Explorer and it's a 5.12. Mm. So it's wow. a very short gear. Wow, okay. Because of how high the engine revs and right, finds okay. torque. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. first gear would go to like 200 miles an hour. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> right. Um, right. What does this thing weigh? Do you know? Uh, you know, I, I would honestly guess it's over three, but right around. You know, because the stock FD is 28 and change. Yeah. And the three rotor does add another 150 pounds. 
What are you uh, What are you running for rear tire wise? You got some meats on this. Yeah, thing. so I didn't know if I would get disqualified with these, so I brought some drag radios. Again, another person <laughs> disqualified. There are no rules. We don't have <laughs> no, any rules on this show. These, these are never zero, discussed a rule. Zero rule book yeah. in the entire <laughs> series. Well, when I raced Ken, they, those were uh, radials. Yeah. This is bias ply, but they they are DOT legal. Yeah. What so, are these? Twenty six and a half. Uh, I think they're twenty eight, but 28? they're eleven, ten and a half, eleven and a half. Yeah, or twenty six okay. by eleven and a half. I yeah. just love that stock FD wheels make the best drag wheels. Yeah. They really. Do yeah, you see them? Evos often. run them all the time, yep. right? Yeah, they're, they're the popular on the Evo. That could fit over the yeah. yeah. You got any other weight reduction? You got some carbon doors, but you no. got full interior. I don't have carbon doors. I have carbon door. Oh. What's important to note about that is that no roll cage, carbon driver side door, because that just says that Rob doesn't care about his own safety. No, his passenger he cares about. No exposed drive shafts this time. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, oh, I've that's grown. A big I've safety. grown. <laughs> yeah. Has this car done anything ride. other than drag racing? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Are you sure about that? No, it really hasn't done much. Yeah. Street driving, that's about it. Did you yeah. street drive this thing? Yeah. At a yeah. thousand wheel horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I respect that. You know, uh, no one bats an eye when a 2J guy says he's street driving his 1,000 horsepower car. Like, let's can put some respect on the Doritos. Thank you. Thank please. you. All right, well, we got one homebrew <laughs> race car. And let's see what a factory race car looks like. My name is Alex, I'm from Tag Motorsports in San Diego. This is our 2020 48 Pista. This is a beautiful car, man. Talk about aero. Look at this thing. You ever seen a cooler like that just laying flat, but somehow it worked? It's got a cooler and then another cooler down there. It's at just slight enough of an angle just, to yeah, eat yeah. that. Just slight yeah, enough yeah no, you can kind of see it. That's and insane. it actually pushes the air outside from here on the sides. Oh, so it also gives oh you a little gosh, bit of... Oh my gosh, so this is out. a functional maybe vent Maybe here. a little bit of downforce there or something. A lot of vacuum. Is that stock or is that aftermarket? That's all stock, yeah. So wow. the only aftermarket part on Active the front end arrow. is... This piece is... It's got the full Novatec aero kit. This piece is added. It's a little bit further out. Um, that wasn't carbon originally. So the you rest, said full Novatec aero kit. What does that include? Because like, so, we don't even know anything about these cars. So what's not factory? The little added carbon in the front. Side skirts, little added carbon on the mirror and uh, the little triangle. Lights around the taillights and the rear spoiler. These wheels look sweet. What are these? So these are HRE's vintage 527S's. So they're it's their new two-piece line. It looks great. We're I using the factory titanium lug nuts. Uh, did not really anticipate all that stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. You do have an advantage with uh, the quick shift trans. Is it a seven speed? It's a seven speed dual clutch. Yeah. When everything's all running uh, and warmed up, it, it's really cool because it learns the surface that you're on. Wow. So uh, every time you put it down, it just learns more and more. Does your car on do the that? Same service. No, he's going to gain on every shift I've got. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of power do, it, do these make? I think it's about 730 horsepower. How much does it weigh? You know? Just over 3,000 pounds. Ooh. Wow, this thing's pretty light. Can we look at these seats? You got I know. blue suede seats. Yeah, so this was I don't a, know how that door handle works. Was, this is a fun <laughs> thing with, uh, we did a project with Ferrari's TaylorMade. Um, Jeez. And we got an old school Ferrari fabric all on the floor. Her, um, give that a sniff. Mm. Just oh, I smell it from here. <laughs> it smells brand new. It's actually taking money out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we appreciate this back here? I love that you get to see the engine yeah. in the back. What are we looking at? V8, twin turbo, right? Yeah, 3.9 liter uh, twin turbo V8. 3.9 so, liter V8 in itself wild. is yeah. so it's, small. That's okay. awesome. I, it Bigger motor. It's torque at, at 6750, and it's got this boost by gear basically from the factory. Third and fourth gear are completely different than first and second. It's it's absurd. So you got a V8, bigger motor, and more turbos than him. Yeah. And, and a lot more 335 street tires. I'm not finished. On 22s, so let's see. He's got one piece of carbon fiber. <laughs> this one, on the two, other hand. Three, this has more four, carbon fiber five. in the taillights than he's got on the It has whole more car. carbon in the engine bay than it has. Look at how much aero is in the taillights. Yeah, right that's here. like this everywhere you so look crazy. is aerodynamic it's, on this It's car. crazy. There's oh, active aero underneath the diffuser. The diffuser comes all the way up to here. It, it's, they yeah. did a killer job with this. So you said 335? Yeah, I run a 2021 setup sometimes and I have a, I run a 355 in the back. I mean, so this thing it, probably grips off the. It does, the dig, yeah. Right? Yeah, it, it moves. All right, so obviously these cars are gonna hit some pretty high speeds on this track. It's up to you guys. If you wanna do heads up, how far you wanna go. You got 500 foot, 1,000 foot, and then there is a 1,500 foot marker. So up to you. I'll go all the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. I mean, just when parts are gonna fly off, which direction are they gonna go? Cause I want that <laughs> lane. Ouch. Yeah, I think 15 works for me. 1,500 from a dig, let's do it. I think Pista is gonna get the hit because of its sophisticated traction control, but 1,000 horsepower up top is gonna freight train it. So I'll go with Rob. I mean, I gotta kind of go with my own car, but the facts are the facts, so I'll take myself. I got Rob Dom, always bet on black. We got a FDRX7, fully built three-rotor, 
massive gear turbo, over a thousand horsepower, all the torque, and character and heart. So I just have to give it to my boy Rob Dom. Let's give it up for the six speed heroes, all right? We need them to hold it down for us. I know everybody went with the rotary, and I got Italian blood in me, so I'm gonna go Ferrari. I don't like supercars, so I'm with Team Rob. Bacon's definitely gonna win by a long shot. I'm gonna go with the one that doesn't have pistons. You know, I gotta believe. I gotta believe in myself. I'm gonna stand up, be a man, and say that I I think I'll take the win. Okay. I hope I take the win. Would you, like, would yes. you go? I went with Rob. Yeah, I think we all went with Rob. The thing about Rob, when we landed this last time, is like he's all in, right? He's all in. He's all in. Yeah, he's Everything not going to push you up. Round one. Good? That was squirrely. He didn't really warm up the tires good either, though. Well, Rob? Yeah. Rob yeah. left as a driver, and he's coming yeah. back as a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Alex jumped the hell yeah, out of that, dude. Oh, yeah. It's chase is a chase race. Chase is a race, yeah. yeah. Race rules. We have no rules here, except a chase is The a rules race. are we make the rules. Yeah. You want to switch the other tires? Yeah, other tires. What other tires do you bring? Drag radials. Oh yeah. Dude, we saw you come loose on like in like fourth gear. Traction doesn't help if I can't <laughs> stay in a straight line. Dude. I want to bring the all-wheel drive floor rotor back out. It's so much easier. So much easier. Looks like you've done some street racing before because you jumped the hell out of that arm drop. I mean, listen, he said when he moved, so I didn't know I moved. <laughs> the elbow twitches. I, listen. All right, so they're gonna go change the tires. We're gonna shorten the track to a thousand feet. Rob says the thing's getting really kind of wild past a thousand foot. And, uh, wrinkle walls with the uh, with the street tire on the front usually is a good combo. I think drag rate will be better. Do you think wrinkle walls with a bicycle tire is the better combo? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to run a mix of tires. I don't know why. I think it's because of the way the car reacts. Like maybe the slosh in the front helps also. I don't know. I'm sure the Commonwealth that's never driven a car before will yeah, correct. I don't know anything. So. All right, is everybody ready? That's a first. What did he say about, what did he say about switching tires for more stability? Jesus, this Whoa. thing is scary. You almost hit bad. him. Did it look different from our perspective? Was he far in front of you when you almost hit him? He was close. Um, but it felt better. It felt much better. I don't understand Dude, this that. Thing The launch was good. Yeah, your launch was yeah. sick, man. You got out. Yeah. Like I said, this turbo's making so much power that I can't control. I haven't, I don't have, haven't tuned that out at all. What's your insurance policy like? Yeah. <laughs> so the Ferrari took the first race and the second race, best out of three. So we're throwing in a bonus race. We're going to do, is we're just going to do a roll race to the 500. That's what Rob wants. Let's see what happens. Bonus round.
All right, so now we got a scumbag Amanda just doing donuts. Just go right into donuts. Right into donuts. <laughs> Rally car. <laughs> so you won. That means you gotta do some victory donuts. <laughs> we got it. There you go. Turn the switch. <laughs> Is he 250? No, that's a that's a why that's a CR 500. CR 500.